Welcome everyone, the first step to activate Gboard on your iPhone is make sure you have downloaded the Gboard app from the App Store and then we can open it up and so what you're looking for is this setup Gboard option and we're going to tap on this one and it says step one of two so we're going to tap on get started and you can see we have not been brought anywhere, it just took us to the settings. So we're going to close out of the settings app. We're gonna tap on get started again. And this time it should bring you to the Gboard area of settings. So if it doesn't bring you, just close out of settings, tap the button again. And from here, we're gonna tap on keyboards and just turn on Gboard and then turn on allow for access and then allow. Now we can go back to the Gboard and it says step two of two. So the keyboard should be showing up right now. And so we need to tap and hold the globe icon. And this, on the older iPhones, you may need to long press the one, two, three icon. And then you're just gonna slide down until you see Gboard and now the Gboard is the keyboard that you see right here. Okay, so if we go to a search, there is the Gboard. And if you just long press the globe, so let's long press the globe, you can switch to the regular keyboard or to the regular emoji keyboard. Okay, but the Gboard does have built in emojis as well with the search. And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.